The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. We have a, a, a special guest now with an exclusive, uh, Mia Maria Pope, who is uh, who lived in Honolulu, who is a um, contemporary of the Mac Daddy Obama. She knew him as Barry Satoro uh, in the early years there when he was a high school student. Um, and Barry always, according to what Mia is going to say to us in a few moment, moments, rather, uh, identified himself as pretty much as a foreigner and uh, also as a cocaine smoking homosexual on the order of um, Richard Pryor type and uh, so she knew him conversated with him and uh, is ready now to talk to the Manning Report about her relationship with the Mac Daddy she calls him Barry Satoro uh, back in the 70s. Mia, are you there? Yes, sir, I am here. Well, first of all, we thank you for uh, calling us today and informing us of this information you have as a personal reference of Obama. Could you just kind of yes, write sir. it down and tell us how you knew him? What was some of your participation or actions or interactions with him? Okay, I'm happy to, and uh, thank you for having me on, Dr. Manning. Um, I really admire your good work you're doing. I uh, was born in 63. Uh, my family, I was born in California. My family moved to Waimanalo, Hawaii, when I was a young infant. So all of my formative, formative years were spent in Waimanalo, Hawaii, which is on the island of Oahu. And then um, my father's work, he was a musician, and then we would fly back and forth from California to Hawaii. So invariably, I spent my summers, uh, we would have like a hotel or we'd get an apartment in Waikiki. Now, I did not meet or see Barry Sotoro till about 1977. That would, I was about late 13, 14 years old. And... Um, you know, during those years, uh, during the summertime, we as neighborhood kids, we would sort of hang out and we all sort of, you know, knew each other's business and didn't really have anything to plug into. We pretty much hung out in Waikiki and at the beach and so forth. And uh, I knew of this individual. His name was Barry Sotoro. And he uh, always portrayed himself as a uh, foreign student. And we just that didn't mean much to me then, but, you know, that's just what we knew about him. And uh, he wasn't really close within my particular um, circle of friends. He was a little bit older than me, um, and he very much was within sort of the gay community, which there is a thriving, even back then, gay community in that area, particularly the Diamond Head area. And we knew Barry as just common knowledge that, you know, he, girls were never anything that he was ever interested in. And, you know, as a young teenager, you know, as a young girl, I mean, it was clear to me that Barry was strictly into men. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. 